I went to Atabay and found this. It's one eye's missing eye. Amazing. There were stories that it was located somewhere on the island, but no one has ever found it before. Some say it contains tremendous power. How can I use it to help Atabay? My knowledge of these matters is limited. You should visit Jimmy. I found this when I visited Atabay. Is it? Did it belong to one eye? Yes. Atabay wanted me to have it. I think it's the key to what's happening on the island. Tell me everything you know about one eye, and don't leave anything out. It's a tale that begins hundreds of years ago. One eye was just a pirate captain then, and wanted Morgane to be his woman. But she would have nothing to do with him. One Eye and Morgan couldn't have been around hundreds of years ago. Just let me explain. One Eye swore he would make Morgan regret her decision and found a way to take a part of the island spirit. He used it to put a curse on the island. Is that why Atabay is weak? No. It's because One Eye's evil nature is destroying the part he holds. What did the curse do? The island and everyone on it are frozen in time for all eternity. The outside world doesn't even know we exist. If you knew the outside world, that wouldn't seem so bad. One Eye is a tyrant and forces us to work for him against our will. He threatens to use the curse to destroy the island if we disobey. How can we reverse this curse? The only way to do so is to return One Eye's eye to him. I don't understand. When One Eye took part of the spirit, Atabe fought back and gouged out one of his eyes. Unfortunately, it didn't stop the spell being cast, but it did link the curse with the eye. So I just give him back the eye and everything's okay? I wish it was that simple. One eye must willingly accept the eye in order for control of the curse to be given to another. Even then, a spell must be cast which will allow the transfer. Can you create that spell? It's beyond my skills. You must seek out Jibaro, the hermit who lives beyond the dark crossroads in the evil marsh. Take great care. The marsh is home to many evil spirits who dance over the waters. Sounds like disco night. Why is Atabe dying now, after all this time? He protects us from the volcano, and lately it has become much more active. It's draining his energy too quickly, because he's no longer whole, due to one eye's curse. Oh my god. If Max dies, the whole island could be destroyed. It's vital that I save him. For all our sakes, I wish you luck.
Evil spirits? This marsh is beautiful. Most of the bamboo is completely burned, but there are a few short sections that seem okay. Most of the bamboo is completely burned. I'll take one of these bamboo pieces. That's quite a pile of shells. It was either one hell of a party, or someone's been eating here on a regular basis. I'll grab one of these. Ouch! Hey, it's sharp! I can use these stepping stones to get across, but I need to time my moves just right. This tree has an overhanging branch. If I had something to fasten to it, I'd be able to swing across. looks like some kind of wild lily. There's no reason to do that now. That bushcraft guy on TV always makes great use of vines. Hmm, I need to find something to cut through the vine. That's pretty neat. I should be on one of those reality TV survival shows. This is a handmade knife. It's really sharp. get my own bushcraft TV show. Sunny Survival. Ooh, that is a pretty good ring to it. That bushcraft guy on TV always makes great use of vines. Perfect. Pliers are firmly attached to the vine.
This branch looks pretty sturdy. I'll take it with me.